Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Senones campaign for Rome 2's Rise of the Republic DLC. And I just have a quick announcement concerning this campaign, so what I'm going to do is just quickly clear away this ambush. Uh, no need to fight it, we've got 85% of our force remaining, which is fine, and that will take care of that Veneti army behind enemy lines. And I'm just going to be moving around, finishing up what I want to do for this turn while talking about the announcement, because we do have quite a bit to do in this part. So, basically, what I realized was, the other day I was going through my Sentence playlist, and I found out that this campaign has been going on for almost a year. And uh, that was really astonishing to me. I always say that I want my content to be new and fresh and fun to watch, and uh, I've, I've been starting lately to kind of get a little bit bored with this campaign, if I'm honest. The steamroll stage is just about achieved, and uh, I think that CA's objectives here are just way too long. Like, they're not going to hold the interest of my audience t for me to play, you know, 20 to 30 more parts to try to get all of these objectives. I think that... From here on out, if you guys haven't seen, by the way, I did post this in a community message on my YouTube channel, so you can go ahead and read it in full. But what I've decided is that I'm actually not going to be following CA's outlined objectives for my Let's Plays anymore. I'm not really a channel that ever wants to do more than one or two parts in a particular Let's Play per week. I think that one to two is, is plenty uh, for my audience sake. I mostly focus more on the battle side of things. And... CA's objectives just mean that I would have to do, you know, four to five episodes per week, and then the campaign could still be going on for six months' time. And I don't think that it's really fun for anyone to watch, and I also don't think it's fun for me to play. And if I'm not having fun playing, then I am almost certain that you guys are not going to have fun watching. Now, with that being said, I have decided that from my Let's Plays going forwards, I will actually make up some custom objectives depending on which faction I am playing and they'll probably only be two or three and realistically I want to be able to get those objectives finished in a maximum of 10 to 20 episodes. Now that still could mean it could be upwards of 10 to 15 weeks per let's play but I think that that's much more manageable than than 52 weeks like that's absolutely ridiculous uh, for me to have uploaded the first episode of my Senones campaign of August of 2018 and for us to almost be in August now and still be not even halfway through our victory objectives uh, if we take a look at them once again like we've got almost the amount of settlements that we need which is good but we still need to take these provinces here we've got to raise or sack like 30 more settlements we've got to sack basically every single capital city on the map. We've got to have way more of the elite units. We've got to build more of these coin hordes and coin mints. And I'm sorry, it's just not something that that is interesting to me uh, as a player. And I'm sure that it's not really interesting to you guys as, as viewers as well. And I, as I say, I always want my content to be new and fresh and exciting and engaging. And uh, this Senon's Let's Play just is not anymore. It's It's gone on for way too long. So with that being said, uh, the Senones Let's Play, I hope that I will be able to finish my custom objectives that I've come up with this in two more episodes. These will be hour-long episodes as well, just so we can kind of crush through it. I do have a poll with three other Let's Play ideas, so go ahead and cast your vote on that poll for which Let's Play I should undertake next and it will just fall into the Senone slot and I'll come up with some custom objectives depending on which faction is chosen. But I'm sure you're asking what custom objectives have you come up for the Senone's campaign? Well I'm glad you guys asked. Let's take a look at the map here. My main goal has always been to unite the north so there's a couple of things that we need to do in the north. First off we need to either confederate or destroy the Ligurians and I'm going to try and confederate with them that's going to be the easier option but if they continue to refuse we're just going to wipe them out they're pretty weak as it is. And then the second thing we're going to do is unite the north so the Veneti are going to be destroyed and also the Ligurians were going to take this or sorry the uh uh, what are they called? Uh, Tarkuna. We're going to take this settlement from them as well. So, Confederation or Destroy, Unite the North, and then the last objective is we're going to actually sack and raise Rome, and then that is going to be the end. Not going to go for 
whole completion here or full map completion look how much we still have to do and for the cust or for the ca objectives i would have to sack like taurus down here i'd have to sack regian syracuse carthage like it's it's just not interesting in my opinion so those are the three custom objectives i should be able to wrap up them in as i said one to two parts so that is the plan. Hopefully you guys enjoy that and hopefully you are excited to see more Let's Plays on the channel because uh, they will be much shorter in the future. Uh, I should have realized uh, this way before then, to be honest. I had no idea that it was going on for so long. Okay, so we do have this, this army coming down here. We should probably just get it force marching, I think, because it's still plus four, which is excellent. And down in the south, we do have our armies kind of converging on this point, which is good. Uh, we can actually clear away this rebellion. Uh, let's just finish it off because I don't want it to hit us at Kalevsin. And kill the captives. General leveled up, which is excellent. Let's bring him back to... Velusna, and give him some extra campaign movement range would be good and we're going to not force march this army uh what i'm thinking because we have this tarkunian force here i don't want them to retake their capital so let's actually let's actually what's the ambush success chance only 55 percent eh Let's actually move them there and see if we can ambush. Is there nothing else? Laying an ambush. Good. And then in the next turn, we'll probably destroy uh, the Veii who have come back here. And we'll take the capital city of Veii as well. And then hopefully we can just destroy Tarkuna completely because they've got Kira's over here. And then they have this settlement way up in the north. But uh, as far as the Ligurians are concerned, I might just have to buy them out. See, they're very friendly, Sit but they friend, just won't. And let us talk. They and won't let us have uh, good wine until treat with us. No more. So let's try and offer all of our money and see what happens. Yeah, it's low. And they don't even want non-aggression or a trade agreement anymore. Which kind of sucks, so... I don't know if there's a confederation penalty going on right now. But, I mean, they're very friendly, but it's minus 80 because of expansionism. So, we'll, we'll see what happens there. But, uh, I think we're waiting in ambush here. What's the chance? I think it's 55% uh, as well, possibly. But to see if this, this stack comes down over here to Placentia. And then over here, we're going to retaliate next turn and take Brixia back. And then they're down to three, four settlements. Uh, actually, I should probably throw one more young sword in here. Actually, uh, let's just merge these guys up here. And then drop two in. And then we'll come over here to Stalia. Now, I don't have a fleet, unfortunately. Maybe I should have actually invested in one. Could maybe raise a fleet. This guy is from the Senones. I know I'm going to probably break the bank here. But I don't need anything too special. Just four. And then what we can do is then I can blockade this and actually starve them out, which would be good. And as I said, we might go negative here, but I think we will be able to survive once we hit this province next turn. But I think that's it for that. What are we researching here? Minus one construction time. I guess that is pretty useful. Is there any more for, like, diplomacy that can maybe help us uh, get a little more friendly with the... with the Ligurians? Growth and public order, all provinces, would definitely be useful. Hmm. <laughs> we didn't go really for any of the military. It's kind of funny. But uh, let's go ahead and end the turn there. Poor Rome is just hanging on. That's one of my other objectives, too. I would have had to destroy Rome. Oh, crap. Okay, what's Taurus doing here? Looks like they're sieging one of our settlements. Yeah, they're sieging Spoletium. Okay, that's annoying.
The people and the priests um... agree that this war has run its course. Let us have peace. I'm gonna say no. Because A, they're asking for money, and B, I don't want to upset the Ligurians anymore, or Rome for that matter, so. They're in such a weakened state at this point that I doubt they're going to be able to do anything. And of course, they're going to make me take attrition there as well, that's so annoying. Oh, the Veneti didn't take the bait, dang it. And I didn't see what happened with their army. Wow, that's a f full stack in Vei. Okay. Or in Sisera. Settlement under siege. Yes, it is. Research complete. And, yep. Oh, sea trade, plus 20%. Oh, wow, yeah, we are negative. Negative, negative, negative. Okay, let me see here. Is this really... Oh, yeah, thank you. Just wipe it out. Bye. Nice. Well done. Kill the captives for a bit of extra wealth there. And that did help our income a little bit, which is nice to see. All right, so can we strike Ravenna this turn? Looks like we can. Oh, and there's some boy rebels as well. Nice. Uh, 79%. Take their capital from them. Okay, who would we be liberating? No, we gotta unite the north. We gotta unite the north, so let's raise it. And unfortunately, we can't take out those rebels just yet, but let's repair all of this. Uh, we'll put that in and that in. Let's force march this army down to here, so we can bring in some extra reinforcements. Now, at Brixia, let's kind of slide forwards here. I don't want to get surprised. There we go, another auto-resolve there. 73% of our force. And hopefully this will slowly get us out of debt. It's frustrating that we have to raise it again. Uh, that in, that in, and ooh, not enough money. And actually, we, we might go negative this turn. Unless I did that. Ready for now, their army is up here. What kind of army is it? Ah, I think we can take that, to be honest. Hmm. Our young swords are pretty banged up, though. Maybe what I'm going to do is try and draw them back by coming over here to Parmy. That might actually force their hand back. Because they're losing territory quite quickly. Is there anything that I can do? We do have this force here. I bet you that if we double teamed it, we should be able to take it out. Yeah, we can't do that in there, unfortunately, but if we encircle it, we might be able to bring this one in as reinforcements, and then just auto-resolve it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, 81%, I'll take it. And that should actually eliminate that faction completely. We go they're destroyed Can I finish my and uh yeah just sit close by for now Honor the gods and, your ancestors. and uh yep and actually don't repair that port and would that mean that we have enough to fix fix this building here dang it 
Well, how expensive are these? That's 680 and 590. We can't afford that for some reason, really. Okay, don't repair that port then. And that way we can get that in. Good, so they are almost wiped out. We should be able to clear away the Boyai rebel forces next turn. And wealth from industry and wealth all regions would take seven turns. Could get some extra food, but our food is quite good. Public order would also be very good, but 13 turns that would take. So we'll go for that for now. Very good. We have the Illyrians kind of just sitting nearby. But uh, we can... Nah, no need to do that. It's fine. I just need him to basically blockade this so that we can cause attrition. Let's move up here and try and clear away the Tarkuna. This little army as they move down to probably take our lands. Good and noble friend, what an honor you do us. Come speak so that the spirits can hear your words. Yeah, we might have to end up just destroying them, unfortunately. But, uh, 2,274, can we lower that now again? No, we're actually going to go negative. So, Tarkuna is the lowest, but it's still plus five, which is good. Most places are actually still happy, which is really good to see. Yeah, we're still plus eight over here. Very, very good. Uh, they've been beaten back quite a bit. They do have another force here from Taurus, though. That's that's concerning. I think I'm going to force march these guys just in behind the settlement so that we can have some reinforcements. And next turn, I should be able to come over here and hit Vei. They've actually built a full stack uh, almost at... Or, yeah, a full stack at uh, Kurez, which is ridiculous. There's no way with two settlements that they can afford that. They're only making 140 gold here. Uh, nevertheless, it doesn't really matter. Is this a port settlement? Yeah, so we'll be able to do the same thing and attrition them down. So that is fine. And I don't think that there's any fleets nearby that would wreck our fleet. No, there is not. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, actually, we have some unassigned skills. So these guys here... Uh, let's go for replenishment. That's always useful. And replenishment for you guys as well. And was that everyone? Nope. We got one more. Strategist. Uh, authority when leading an army. Yes. And... Male attack for all sword armed. Yes, that's very good, because I think he has a lot of swords. Yes, he does. Very good. Actually, if there was anywhere that I could squeeze some more money out of... Is there anywhere I'm recruiting? I don't think there is. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I was, I was thinking maybe I could get a mercenary unit in there, but I mean, if they attack us... It's a lot of cavalry and a lot of these tribeless spearmen. Granted, I wouldn't have much of a garrison, so we're pretty banged up. I mean, I do have some young swords. I've got some of my own cavalry. The Gallic Heavy Spearmen should be able to hold as well. So we'll just see what happens. If we lose that, we lose that. We just have to kind of come back around to deal with it. Uh, let's uh, end the turn. Uh, going after my war maiden. Please don't kill her. Thank you.
We see no profit <laughs> in continuing hostility. Um, Let us move towards peace. Heno. They'll probably attack me now, though. Yeah, they're going to. Dang it. I was hoping that they wouldn't. I mean, we, we could try and hold this. It's it's going to be extremely tough. Uh, we do have a lot of Gallic skirmishers, which is good. They've hired... Half their army is cavalry, so hopefully with the amount of spears we have, we should be able to tear them down. And then with our cavalry, we'll be harassing their three units of tribeless slingers. So I think we might just be able to do this. It's going to be really tough, but if we can do this, we'll break the back of the Veneti. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Alright guys, welcome to the battlefield, and here comes the Veneti Mounted Cavalry. I've got my wall of spearmen here. Hopefully we will be able to hold them back and eliminate their cavalry early on. Looks like we do have some cavalry over here as well. And I'm going to push my cavalry over into the trees to see if I can harass those skirmishers that will be held in reserve later on. Probably should push into these uh, Veneti Mounted Raiders here so that we can lock them into melee. They should go down quite quickly. And where is their general? Yeah, their general is pulling back, which is a little bit annoying. I do have some very depleted units here, which I'm going to put into this uh, choke point. And I want to move my slingers around the flanks as po uh, if possible, but I also don't want to commit too early. How are these guys doing? I mean, they're doing all right. Javelin men. Javelin men, let's try and focus on that general if we can. If we can kill the general, we might be able to just break their morale. But yeah, a lot of the cavalry is focused over here, which isn't really ideal. I didn't really want that. But once we have all the spears moving in against my spears, uh, we'll start making our way around with our cavalry to try and drive them off. How's the general doing? He's down to 78. He needs to be weaker than that, though. Uh, this cavalry... Oh, I don't want you wasting all your ammunition to stop. We can use our ammunition for something better. In fact, let's come over here and help them out with killing the general. It looks like they're not going to come over here as well, so we can have an extra unit in reserve. Slingers, I'm waiting for them to engage or pick a, a place to engage, and then I'm going to try and... Where's that? Oh, it's uh, my very depleted units of skirmishers, probably. Yeah, keep following that general if you can. Got some more javelin men coming up as well. Oh yeah, they're really not engaging here very well. They haven't decided exactly what they want to do yet, I don't think. Go after the general there. Okay, let's move the cavalry out and behind. Let's see what we can do here. All right, slingers, let's just turn you around. I really wanted to hit them in the back, though, is the thing. So let's let's move around the flanks. Let's block them off here. And then we can fire into their backs. Galax Spearman, I mean, they're holding as best as they can. They, they're steady. That's another... Is that the general? Yeah, it is, actually. Keep focusing the general. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And let's come uh, here and try and lock down these mounted raiders. Got to be careful not to lose my general, though. That would be disastrous. There we go. Perfect. Right into melee. Well done. Should be able to do just fine with them. Our general is under attack. Let's give him some command buffs. Seriously, they've used all their ammunition. Still, dang it. Okay, well, we're moving around. Let's get these slingers around, too. Should be able to break this flank, I'm hoping. One of our units has used all its ammunition. How are we looking? Tribalist warriors have broken. Excellent. Do any of these still have ammunition? They do not. So let's push in. Mercenary Gallic Horsemen. Let's actually push through and see if we can lock some more of this, uh, these units in melee here. Veneti Mounted Raiders. Let's use this, these two to lock them down. The men are wavering. No, don't waver. Don't waver. Maybe that was a mistake. Push them through like that. Oh, yeah, that charge. That charge was pretty gross. Okay, slingers, form up over here, please. And we're just going to fire right into their backs. 
kill these Venetti where they stand. Good, so they've broken. Let's move my horsemen over here. That general is still alive. Don't pursue. Be very careful. I don't want that general coming over here because my general is quite weak. Got another unit of swords I can push in for now. And slingers, begin your volleys. And let's form these guys up a little bit better. And yeah, we should be doing a decent amount of damage here. Come on, guys, you need to volley a little bit better than that. There we go. Slowly starting to pick them down, I think. An entire unit has perished. Where's that? Is that again the weakened, weakened unit? Probably. Yes. Okay, they've broken. All right. This is risky. Where is where is the easier target? Let's actually come over here, General. You're out of this for now. Oh yes, yes. Pull back, pull back. Okay, we're gonna try. This is actually even more risky. I was gonna do a, a rear charge on these units, but let's actually try and hit these these skirmishers while they're undefended. And we just need to hold over here. And we need to hold over here. Slingers are not doing a good job. Come on, let's get the volleys going here. Is it because these guys are in the way? Let's try and pull them back. Let's move the slingers closer. Now try and volley, see how that goes. And then once they break here, yeah, continue hitting them. Make sure they shatter. And actually the general can deal with that. And you guys are gonna form up and rear charge here. How did they get around? Those stupid Venetti horsemen, 17 men. Okay, we're starting to pick them down now, which is good. Okay, general, just stay here for now. And charge. For the Sanons! Nice job there. Oh, is the general in here? He is actually. Nice. Focus that general and kill him. Oh, yeah. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. That would be bad. Let's actually try and hit... hit the, uh, this is a smaller pocket of them. So let's actually try and, and slam into these guys. And go. Slingers. Why? Why you do this? Please just focus something. Should get the general over here as well. Try and keep those young swords in melee for longer. Yes, they rally. Thank you. There's not much here that can kill my cavalry except for these spears. Let's actually have the general here if possible. Let's inspire the young swords there. And charge in. There we go, a nice charge there. Yes, yes, they're all starting to break. I think we've got this. All thanks to these Gallic Heavy Spearmen here, which are just holding the lines. These Slingers are doing so crap. Like, I don't understand why they're not getting good shots. It's so bizarre. You'd think they'd just be able to volley at anything. Let's just uh, turn them off fire at will and turn them back on and see if they can just target whatever. Oh, yes, 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 yes. General, stay alive. An entire unit has perished. No. And this is, I think, the Venetti's last full army. Keep running them down, boys. Keep running them down.
General is pushing through. Oh boy. All right, well, Slingers are doing nothing. We're just going to charge with these guys. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, they barely used any of their ammunition. It's so bizarre. But anywho. All of you guys need to ASAP come over here. And cavalry. You're going to come over this way. Young swords over here. The battle is turning in our favor. Yes, yes it is. And we're going to push all of these guys into melee. Whichever way they want to go. Doesn't matter to me. But this cavalry over here. They're going to be the ones to hopefully take down the general. And thankfully my general is still alive, which is excellent. And kill him. This Veneti scum will be wiped off the face of the earth. Oh, <laughs> throwing down a few of my own men there, but... The yes! Yes, he is. Killed by the heroic cavalry of the Senones. Absolutely excellent. And you know what? You guys suck, so you're just going into melee. Oh, actually, they broke. Okay, that that's fine. Please make sure to run them down, boys. Don't let them escape. Not many of them getting away. Let's fast forward here. Let's get the general over here in case any do kind of escape. Oh, what is this? Yeah, they're going to get away, unfortunately. Yeah, most of the infantry units shouldn't. I would think. Do see some units over here, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Four, four left. I think that is the end. Let's go ahead and end the battle there. A close victory, but we held off the Veneti. And there we go. That was actually such a bad defeat for them that the entire army was completely destroyed. And it came down to basically my Gallic heavy spearmen holding the lines here and my cavalry. Unfortunately, these slingers, they just didn't they didn't really get many kills for some reason. I don't know why. Even my very depleted garrison units managed to get a couple of kills, which is good. Let's go ahead and kill the captives. Oh, don't even think about it, Ligurians. Seriously, don't. Military disruption, traditions, increase in rank, engineers sent. What? Oh wow, you gained a lot of money there. Okay, so they have... What? Where did that come from? Another 20 stack, seriously. Oh. Well, what the heck? Okay. Well, we need to block that from happening, so we'll push back to Placentia. Uh, we could just allow these guys to deal with the rebellions. Uh, 75%, that's fine. Should just take it out, hopefully. Oh, evidently not. But I do have my second army nearby where I can have them chase that down. So let's actually come over to here. So we still should be within our territory to get replenishment. And what I actually am going to do is uh, just merge these guys. And then grab... Oh, some Gallic Spearmen could be good. 
but they're so much more expensive. But yeah, well, no, actually, they take two turns, so that's that's out. Oh, it, it takes two turns here as well. Oh. Why is that? No idea. Okay, let's finish off these guys here. They won't be able to retreat. 97% of the force remaining, which is excellent. Sorry, boy, I, it's not like I wouldn't like you to return, but I... Oh, we're taking attrition in the bogs, are we? Okay. Let's come out of the bogs then. There we go. And, yep, damage inflicted by all melee units at Brixia here. Can we cross? We can't cross over here. And is our territory the entire way? We've got the coin mint here. Recruitment capacity and provides garrison, but I don't think we need that. Placencia, yep, they've got a pretty solid garrison, which is excellent. So what we're actually going to do is force march over to here. And are they going to double cross me? What if I throw all my money at them right now? My friend, be welcome. The spirits of this place smile we'll upon you. Give you the almost seven thousand gold. What? Really? Really? Why? I don't understand. We're gonna have to probably just break them. But if they go to war with me, that's going to be a bit of a problem. What's our? What, actually, what's our garrison here? Nine. And what do they have? They've got a bunch of garbage in their force. I mean, I could maybe recruit another. Another army. I am a, there is a long night ahead. Time to grow up. Just to kind of discourage them from doing anything. Warriors Over on. here, we can't reach them. That's a six stack. I think maybe we'll, we'll just ignore them and continue on our way. Uh, we could always bring one of our armies over here up north. Or I could possibly just throw in another force there. At Clevson, let's... Can we get here in regular stance? No, we just can't. So let's force march back down. Because I think we are getting a bit of replenishment here, which is nice. Let's get four more young swords there. And if they do go to sea just once again, we can just retaliate. Wow, there's so much to do. I've got to focus my efforts here to the special buildings that give all region bonuses. Yes, that's a good one. Same over here. This should give public order all provinces. And we can repair... The oh, crap. Let's actually get the... Oh, no, I can't even. <laughs> okay. Well, then, with that being said... Uh, where was... This one here. We'll stop that so that at Cicero we can get our garrison here. Because we're kind of locked down here, unfortunately. And should I move over here and take the Vei? We've got quite a powerful force over here. And I don't want to spread my forces too thin. But it would give us the entirety of the province. Can I finish my wine? Question is, could I be able to hold it if Tarkuna came in to siege me? We are in perfect position to strike Rome, which is one of the objectives I've set. I think we just see how this plays out. So we got this force coming to hit Parmi. This force next turn will hit uh, Felsina. This force next turn will hit Stalia. I mean, Venetti's days are numbered. 
they come in here to siege, we should be able to break them. If they come up this way, we could force march back to Brixia, so I think we've got them blocked. It's just, will the Ligurians declare war on me? That is the only question. And one which would be pretty inopportune at this point in time. Uh, yep, campaign movement range. Oh no, I made a mistake. That, that was a mistake. Oh, pull back. That was a mistake. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh, they're coming into siege again. That's so annoying. Just go away, Taurus. So they're coming down, so I'll have to make another army there. Oh, please don't block me from getting there. That would be so annoying. Oh my goodness, I swear if they blocked my movement. How did the Veneti have so many armies like this? This Our is ridiculous. Bloodshed, but without gain or progress. Let us end this uh, no, you can pay me. For the good of all. Wow, really? Uh, let's see what I can do. Oh, okay, the Ligurians pulled back. That's very good. Settlement under siege once again. Attrition report as well, which is annoying. Plus eight loyalty for all political parties. Excellent. Okay, so what's their garrison fleet here, I wonder? It's it's four, so we would match them. Let's upgrade him so he's a little bit better. We'll siege the port. Which will block them from getting any supplies in and out of the settlement. Then please tell me I can reach. We can. And there we go. Actually, we could auto-resolve this. Ooh, that's that's perfect. 73%. Yep. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, wait, was that my fleet, maybe? It might have been my fleet, but that's, that's fine. Yeah, so it was my fleet. Okay, fair enough. All from the giant boar clan, so I guess we'll put her in. Yes, bigger ships. Bigger, bigger. Prepare all this stuff. Let's get one of those. Nope, nope, not that. Uh, one of these. There we go. We can finally convert this over. Um, I mean, I guess that's okay. Good, and we didn't lose any full units, which is good to see. But now we have the problem of this force coming down. So if I force march, I could get there in two turns. So I think that's what we're going to have to do. I also am going to have to raise another army here. So let's re... No, we can't reinstate the legacy, unfortunately. So let's... Oh, am I at a maximum of armies? Okay. Well, that's fine. We can disband her for now. And then let's... Wait, can he reinstate her legacy, possibly? We can, okay. I mean, they're all level one, so I don't really think that it matters. Honor to 
gods and your ancestors. Fight oh, we don't even have enough money to afford one. anything. That's not very good. For the tribe. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of a disaster. Well, they're going to be there in two turns. The problem is, is that they will be able to take it first. Get inside the settlement. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, and I need to get this army over here as well. And then we should be able to strike out. Wow, really? Oh, is he not in range? Honor the gods and Epona. Watch over this. Can I finish my wine for blood? Oh, he's not even in range, so that's kind of a disaster. They could actually attack me next turn. Okay, very interesting. Well, we'll leave it here for today, guys. Uh, hopefully, we won't lose Spoletium, because that could kind of open it in, open up a big can of worms, because all of these territories here are pretty undefended. But we can actually, before we end it, just quickly push into here and take Felsina. Shouldn't be too hard. We can auto-resolve that as well. Just, uh, wow, we lost both our cavalry units. Interesting. But we've destroyed that, so we can build some farms there. Uh, actually, let's not repair that so we can get that in there. We don't want to have any issues with our... with slums developing here. And then with this force, let's just, yeah, single-handedly single, single -handedly march over to the Parmy. Uh, they're just kind of holding there, which is fine. We could maybe push out and take them out, but I'm not 100% sure. And then the Veneti are pretty much destroyed at that point, which is really good. And I think that is everything. So maybe one more episode and we should be able to finalize the Senon's Empire here and move on to bigger and better things. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.